All right, so this story is good news and bad news, and I'll explain what that means. So the good news, I'll give you the good news first. Hillary Clinton is not running for president in 2020, so that's something to be very excited about. No more Hillary Clinton, um, you know, for obvious reasons we don't want Hillary Clinton to run again. I'm actually worried she might win the primary again, which is scary, dude, because if Hillary wins... We are fucked big time, okay? So <laughs> I'm glad she's not running. Let's put it that way. But the bad news is, is she's saying that she's not going anywhere, which is not good for the Democratic Party. Um, and it's just going to do... Why would you want Hillary's help in your campaign, man? Why? Why the hell would you want someone who failed miserably in an election and lost, but is you know, the second most hated candidate ever, I guess, uh, you know, above Trump, which is pretty crazy. But here's what this article says from AOL. It says, Hillary Clinton, the former Secretary of State and 2016 presidential nominee, said she is not running for president in the 2020 election. Quote, I'm not running, but I'm going to keep working and speaking and standing up for what I believe. I want to be sure that people understand. I'm going to keep speaking out. I'm not going anywhere. What's at stake in, in our country, the kinds of things that are happening right now, are deeply troubling to me. So, um, the kinds of things that are happening right now are extremely troubling, and they should be to everybody, although they're not for Trump supporters for obvious reasons. They support Trump. But you are not the remedy to any of it. In fact, you are sort of a symbol, and you sort of symbolize... Um, you know, whether it be the allowance of Trump happening and a lot of these things occurring, but you certainly are not the remedy to any of this stuff. You're not going to help remedy anything, and you are just going to make things worse. So, for example, in Andrew Gillum's race, do any of us believe that Hillary Clinton and Debbie Wasserman, piece of shit, uh, you know, campaigning for him, helped him? Of course not. There's a debate as to whether or not that was what lost it for him, although I'm skeptical of that claim. But, you know, it certainly didn't help him. Why would it help him? So, <laughs> I'm glad she's not running. That was a scary thought in the first place. But also, I want to mention that there was also something that she said about uh, Wisconsin, that she lost Wisconsin because there were people who uh, were basically being turned away based on the color of their skin from polls. And funny enough, she actually described a lot of the stuff that was plagued by Bernie Sanders in his primary, where remember where they would have one polling station in areas where Bernie was supported, and so people would leave early and just have these times. All of that stuff was like, wow, karma really hit you in the ass, didn't it? But the idea that she lost Wisconsin because of voter suppression is just false. Um, there's no evidence to support that. And in fact, I think there was a poll that showed a significant amount of black voters were not. Uh, sat I think it was like 30 or 40%, 35, 40% who said, we're not satisfied with the candidates, and so that's indicative of why they didn't come out to vote. Um, she's not going to tell you that, obviously. But also, by the way, guys, she is very sick, okay? Um, remember that event that she did where she barely sold any seats? I forgot, and she was with Bill. Dude, there's video clip of her just coughing her guts out, dude. She, I don't even know if she can really be in public eye for much because she's so sick, dude. Um, she was just straight up coughing her fucking guts out, which is crazy. But anyways, this is not, uh, and apparently also she's scheduled meetings with presidential hopefuls, which is if you want to win, avoid Hillary Clinton like the plague. Take my advice on that one.